Now we're going to get into your sketch. So you want to follow the link that's in your document and you should log in. And it's time to create your script. How many of you have heard that word before? You may have heard it used in your English language arts or theater class. A script is a written text with instructions of what to say in a play or TV show or movie. A script encoding is similar. A script is a series of instructions carried out in a specific order by a computer. Your script in EarSketch is your list of instructions for the computer to play your music. Just like a script gives actors or actresses instructions on what to say when they perform. Let's learn how to create a script in EarSketch. So follow along with me. Okay, before we actually do the coding, I'm just going to walk you through the next few slides of what we're going to do, and then we'll do it together in your sketch. So once you've logged in, you're going to see this blue, the blue text right here that says, click here to create a new script. You're going to click there, and then you're going to give your script a name in this box up here. We're going to stay in Python, and we're going to call this day zero. Now remember, there are four sections to your script, and this is going to show up when you do start a new script. We're going to have all this comment section at the top, and the comments are like your heading, where you're going to put your name and the name of the script, and you can just do a short description of it as well. And the setup is really important. This is going to come with it, and we want to make sure that we keep this code there. This section tells the, the DAW how to prepare to make music. So it initializes it and it sets the tempo. This third section is your music section. Right now there isn't any when you get your new script and this is what we're gonna add to it. And then the last section is the finish section and this is gonna come there already. And every project must have a finish function at the end and that tells the DAW that you are finished. So three of these four parts come with it and we will put in that third part uh, when we do our coding today. Okay, we are going to click on, um, we're going to create this new script. And just remember that it's automatically saved. That's why you created an account. So it'll come in really handy to be able to find your work again and again. Okay, then there's some code that we're going to type in, and we're going to do this part together. And we're going to click Run. We're going to take a look at the console, which is below that, where it says Running Script. We're going to see our music in the workstation area. And we're going to just kind of glance through the API so you can see what's there. We're going to add in a print statement. And we're going to be done. All right, let's get into your sketch. And you're going to need to log in if you haven't done so already. And you're going to hopefully remember your username because I asked you to write it down and your password. And once you're in, it'll show in the upper right hand corner your login. And you can see right in the middle of the screen is that blue word that says click here to create a new script. And we're going to click there. And a pop-up will come up and it's going to ask you for a script name. And this is day zero, so we're just going to call it day zero. And we don't have to do anything else, just day zero. We're going to keep it Python and click the blue button that says create. Now you can see that there's three of the four parts that are already here. Lines one through six, this is our comment section at the top. And lines eight through 11 is our setup. And then line 15 is our finish. And we just have to do our music that we're gonna do here in the middle. Now, this, we have some folders over here on the left-hand side. And this first folder is where all the sound clips already are. If you click here, it turns it on and off. I wanna keep it on and I can Go to set, I can add my own sound, I can search for a sound, or I can use any of these filters. Well, let's go to the filters, and I want you to pick a genre. You can pick whatever you want, you can, you know, any of these things. So, everybody is going to make like their own unique thing. I'm just going to go to, um, uh, let's see, I'm going to go to just house. And then from here, you can see there's lots of different things. I can go others like you. Use these sounds, sounds that fit. Are you feeling lucky? Uh, or there's some very specific ones. I'm going to go to just are you feeling lucky? And you can click wherever you want. And we're going to start adding in some fit media to our code. 
Now I'm going to start on line 13. This is where I want you to start. And we're going to start with a comment. So remember, our comment is a hashtag. And I'm going to put um, my music clips. So it's, we're going to be adding a lot of comments as we go because it's just really good programming practice. So we're going to start off that way. I'm going to press enter. So now I'm on line 14. I'm going to type the words fit media. And the M in media is capital. Everything else is small letters. Fit media. And I'm going to do a parenthesis. When I do one parenthesis, notice how the other parenthesis automatically populated. So I only had to type one and the other is there. And my cursor is sitting there in the middle. When I'm coming over here to the clips, if I click on the blue icon, it will populate the fit media with that particular clip and I don't have to type the whole thing. So I don't really know what any of these are. I can listen to them. If I want to just see. Or if I just want to take my chances. So I'm going to take this first one, the one that's the lead, and I'm going to click on the blue icon where it says paste sound constant to the editor. And notice how it just automatically went into my fit media. Well, after this clip, I need to add in three more parameters. So I'm going to put in a comma. So I'm going to put in a one, and that's for the track. I'm going to put in another one that's going to start on at the first measure. I'm going to put an eight, and that's how many beats it's going to go. So I just have my first sound clip. Now let's do another one. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to do fit media. And once again, I'm going to do a parenthesis. I'm going to come over here to my clips, and I can pick one from the same section, or I can pick one from a different one. Uh, so maybe I want to do this one right here. I could listen to them to see what they're like, or I could just click on one, and it's going to populate. Then remember, I'm going to do three more numbers. Now I'm going to start with number two. It's going to go on the second track. Um, I can have it start at one again, or maybe I want it to start at three and go to ten. You can kind of play around with these numbers. I'm going to do a third fit media, and I'm going to pick a third script. So I'm going to do a string this time. And I'm going to have it start on track three. And maybe I want it to start at measure five and also go to 10. So um, I can really just play around with those numbers, but I've just got something to start right now. And I would like for you to get three fit medias into your code if you need to pause this while I do, so, while you get it, and then turn it back on again as soon as you have your three fit medias. Or if you are following along with me, then we're ready to continue. I'm going to click this green run button right above my, at the top of my code editor. And when I click on it, it's loading, loading. And then you see up here on my audio workstation, you can see my three clips. So this first one is in track one, and I started it at measure one, and I went all the way to eight. You can see that. My second one is on track two. I started at measure three. And I'm coming over here to 10. And then my third one started at 5. It's on track 3, and it also went to 10. Now, is this going to sound very good? I don't know. But I'm going to come up here to the play button. So not the play work, the run, but I'm going to come to the play button, and let's hear what it sounds like. All right, so that was pretty weird. Now I can um, maybe change the clip if I want to. I can change where it starts or where it stops. I could add more. But this is how I'm going to put things together. You can maybe try some that has some words with it, some instruments, some instrumentals. So I'm going to give you some time to just kind of play around with it. You need to have at least three fit media. You can add more. You can change the numbers. And then there's one more thing we're going to do before we finish. And you can go ahead and do that this right now before you add it to your fit media. I'm going to press enter a couple times. So right now I'm on line 18. I'm going to add another comment. I'm going to say add my name. And I'm going to try a print statement. So I'm going to use the word print. If you were an adhesive before, you might remember these print statements. I'm going to use the word print. 
and then a parenthesis. Remember, the second parenthesis automatically populates. And then in quotation marks, I'm just going to say my name, and then I can code. So I'm going to say Jill can write code. And you can say something a little different. It doesn't have to be those exact words. But the question is, when I run this, where is that going to show up? I'm going to click Run again. And notice down here at the bottom, below my print statement, it says running script and it shows my print line and then it says script ran successfully. So I could have several print statements if I wanted and they would all show up down here. I can make this a little bit bigger so you can see it where it says running script and I'm going to make it smaller again. So take some time to play around with your fit media, add some more if you'd like, change the numbers. Every time you add one, you can use a different track. You can use the same track, but be a little bit careful because we'll see what happens if you have like some overlapping things. And um, it saves automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, when you are finished, you are going to go back to your document, and there's a place for you to do a snippet of your code. Now, this is just here to remind you what keys you need to press. You can delete this, or you can cover it up. But remember, you're going to do the window, the shift, and the S. So here's my finished code, my finished script. And I'm going to do my window, shift, S. And I'm going to do a snippet of just my code. I want to make sure that it will be large enough for my teacher to read it. So I'm not doing the entire screen, just my code. I'm going to come to my document, and I'm going to paste it in here. Now this looks pretty small, so I'm going to make it as big as I possibly can so my teacher can see all of my hard work. Then you're going to ready for the reflection, and then you can turn in your assignment. Now, for our wrap-up, there's one more thing that we want to do, and then we'll take a look at all that we've learned today. And one of the things we said we would do is take a look at our APIs. So I have my ear sketch open over here. If you still have your ear sketch open, you can follow along with me. We already know that the first folder shows us all of our sounds. I'm going to come down to the, to the last folder. Notice that it says API. I'm going to click on it. And what you see here is all the different commands that you can use in EarSketch. So if I scroll down just a little bit, you'll see Fit Media here, and it tells you what you need to include with Fit Media. And I can see some more things. I can import file. I see init. I can see insert media, make beat. That's going to come in handy. You see the print statement. And you can just kind of glance through and see how to spell all these different things. And these are the only uh, lines of, these are the only commands that we're going to be using. So it's not a very long list. There's not a lot of things that we need to remember. But if you forget anything, like how to spell it, you can always click on the IP, API folder and find the command that you want. And that can help you out a little bit too. If I click on the little, um, eyeball right there it kind of gives me some more information like if I want to take a look at print I'm going to expand it here it just tells me a little bit more about it I'm going to do the same thing with make beat and it just gives me more information same thing with my hit media so this is a great resource for you and it's just handy to know that it's there and how it works and going back to our slides Here's our last slide for this lesson. So congratulations. You have successfully created in your sketch account, opened the script, learned the sections of the script, run your code, played your music, looked at the console for errors, and learned about the resources in the API. So you are ready to start day one of your Voices Power Remix competition. And that's what we're going to do. That's Mark as it's Tuesday, but that's what we're going to do on Wednesday.